we're gonna leave it as is, just so you guys can get the true experience. So for this one, the enemies have 30% more health if they're not uh, a boss or an elite. We got eroding sanity, the regular uh, cards and booster packs instead of uncommons. Take it or leave it, which is kind of nothing. And notably, Fog of War. This one is rough. Really, really rough. We can't plan ahead nearly as well. So, let's see what we can do. Between Martial and uh, Mindfulness, given that we're drawing a bunch of extra cards, the biggest benefit of Mindfulness being that stability is an easy way to go Zen is reduced. Uh, so we'll go with Martial instead. All commons in here. Uh, hmm. Nothing's really blowing me away here. Outpace is fine. Fast forward is fine. Mind Blash and Pressure are both pretty mediocre. This is normally best as a way to quickly enter Zen, but entering Zen is not as good when you only have one Zen card play. So I think we're all the Mind Blast. Kneecaps. Okay, that's, that's pretty whatever. As for what we take here... Hmm. We already have a better future. I think I might just take Opposing Force. Yeah, we'll go with this. It's decent future strike. A little bit of Echo Wall. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay. Is yeah, so this is Fog of War? <laughs> you guys never see me play with this on because it is terrible. Look at this. What am I supposed to do? The only thing we know is that, I mean, obviously this is the boss, but also this is where the card pack is. That never changes. It's always this tile. Everything else is a complete mystery. So, <laughs> just kind of got to throw ourselves into the void and see what happens. We do get a Matron of Memories, though. You don't see this on my stream very often. We get an egg, five souls, or a void stone. In terms of void stones, uh... I mean, black stones are good, and we're quite a ways away from one. Egg is really slow value. I think I'd rather have some immediate value. I'll just take a void stone, right? Whether or not I would want the five souls, I would normally choose that based on what I could see on the map, but I can't do that right now for obvious reasons. So give me a void stone. We got a yellow. It's fine, I guess. Um... Yeah, you can make some very general plans, like... So you can notably, you can still see which tiles are empty, right? So if I was planning on doing like a big zigzag, going down this way is like less value because those tiles are always empty, but we don't have, what's it called? Uh, collapsing hallways. <laughs> Sonic wanted me to take the egg. Sorry, dude. Sorry, I'm looking for immediate power on Enlightened here. No egg for this run. If we go down like this, come up and around, Something like this seems pretty okay. If it's a lot of tiles, uh, and there's a pretty high chance that we alter our pathing based on what we see in these nodes. The biggest issue with this is that you could whiff on the Soul Collector in Act 2, and that's like, backbreaking. <laughs> but we're gonna try for this right now. It looks like a good path already, because this fight has an upgrade, and there's another upgrade here. <laughs> Egg contains GG, just saying, none of the others do. It's true, the letters GG do appear in the word egg, but not void stone. I can't argue with that kind of logic. We put in our good block cards here over repeating deflection, which is a bad block card if you didn't know. <laughs> uh, and we'll toss in opposing force, and probably a better future here too. I think that's all we want to do. I don't mind putting a yellow stone in something like the fast forward as well. 10 block immediately plus maybe more is pretty good. It's good on better future too, but I'd rather put a blue stone on there if we can get one. It's gonna be a hot minute before we get one from the void stone bar. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's just do a yellow stone better future then, huh? That seems good enough. It's a lot of lashing kicks we have there. So, let's put some Shi out. You'll die to that. There's our only Zen card play that we get. Just the one. But 
we should be fine. Future Strike Trigger's next turn, and two of the guys are already dead. The other one is six out of 19. She should not matter. Okay, um, this is definitely a kill. Beads are set up. Yeah, I might be going through this run a little bit quick. We'll see where it takes us, though. Uh, upgrading better future is a pretty big deal. It's an upgrade that gives you more upgrades, essentially. Nothing else is, like, all that great right now, anyway. I guess Opposing Force is an okay upgrade. Losing the opener condition, we already have a couple other opener cards. But we're just gonna go for better future for now. Op uh, opposing Force might not even stay in the deck long term, so... Bring the Thunder, probably not gonna happen. Although it is better with the uh, Drunken Master thing. So it might be worth it. Sure. Go ahead and weaken them. Why not? These first fights are going to be real fast. All the extra card draw just makes such a big difference this early on. You don't really care that much about your Zen plays. So we'll take you out this way, and then we'll go, like, I guess. I guess we can play an outpace, honestly, so why not? We'll do opposing force on you. Get our block this way. So that's minus eight, and then it weakens you. I'll tell you, I wouldn't mind additional uh, she application right now. All we have is the pressure, which I don't really want to incorporate for the time being. Okay, we have to play three repeating deflections if we actually want full block. Which is a bit awkward. But pretty sure we get there, right? No, we actually don't if we do it that way, so we have to go like this to go Zen, and now you die. Then we just have to put lethal damage on you. Should be pretty easy. I don't even think I need to spend the beads. Yeah. Easy enough. Just grab whatever there, it does not matter. Dunzo. So the Bring the Thunder, it's a very interesting upgrade. Being able to play it for zero for 50% rage is interesting. The purge effect is interesting as well. And I don't really have great upgrades otherwise, like I mentioned. Opposing force is like, okay. I mean, how often do you really get to use this card? It's so awkward and clunky. This would be one of the rare opportunities. I guess the idea would be probably to play this right before we go Zen as part of the ability chain. And then you dump into an attack. But we don't have any great attacks right now, right? Like, 5x2 is our best attack. And I have no idea what I'm picking up. No idea at all. Just not a clue. So, <laughs> given that, I'm just going to upgrade the opposing force instead. Step on some empty tiles here. Okay, another upgrade point, and then another one after that. A lot of upgrades. Okay, I mean, Deliberate's pretty good. That's a nice card to hit with uh, Foresight on the Clarity, right? That's a good one. I already have a Chaotic Blur that I'm not using. Delay is okay. I'll just take the Deliberate. And then upgrade-wise... Do I just go for the Rolling Thunder? Or do I go for the Deliberate? Hmm. I said I wanted some She. This is good She. Fuck it, man, why not? There's an elite, okay, so immediately we're considering changing our path, and by considering, I mean probably just doing it. Purple stone is good, but I don't know where to put it. 
It's a lot less important to have cheap attacks than usual, because normally a big part of the reason you want cheap attacks is to go Zen, going Zen is less valuable now. It's still important to get draws off the prayer beads, but... You know. I think we're just gonna leave things as is here. I uh, gotta be careful with the spell here. We don't want to buff everybody up with their abilities. So we'll just go after you, I think. The reflected damage is gonna be pretty sweet here. And truthfully, so if I play this, I go down to one mana, and then I draw a card, and this costs two, so I purge the card, and then I can play this. And it seems good, but it's probably better just to do it this way. Yeah, that seems good. Because you're going to have up to 29. I could do another 6, which puts you at 35, and then the spell kills you. Okay, we'll do it this way. We'll do it this way. Zero energy here is a little bit scary, but... Spell is going to kill you. The Cascade, I'm pretty sure, is going to kill you, plus whatever we draw here. Because this is rounding, it's 14 on each of them, right? So that should be a kill on you. And then you're going to spill over 10 onto him, so he's going to have 24, right? So 30, so we just need a little bit on him. So I think what I'm getting at is that we do this. this, plus this, plus this, and we win. Nice. Quick kills. You'll love to see it. We got a Mind Blast anyway, and we have yet another upgrade point to spend here. I, I really don't know what to put it on. The Bring the Thunder is so sketch. Gaining momentum is okay. Extra Rage is always nice. This is technically extra rage. I think I'm just going to go with gaining, though. Seems a lot better to me. Okay, so I could go up this way or I could go down this way. We don't have a lot of money to spend on voice stones here. We can buy one. We don't even have the chance to reroll. So I think it's going to be better to go down. And then we'll see about like doing something like this or whatever. We'll make it up as we go. Okay, some interesting relics here. Nothing to change. Still going to try to hoard these stones a bit, right? Yeah. So vulnerable is pretty nice. We have no source of vuln. I don't know if we're going to get anything more in the future because of fog. Oh, the Lotus, not bad. Sapphire Sloth is unusable, of course, when we only have one Zen play. This is terrible. Bunley says, Monk looks fun. Uh, still trying to get all ten hidden. I'm assuming you're talking about mastery cards there. Yeah, the classes are arranged roughly in order of, like, complexity. So hidden being the, the simplest, although that's all relative. This game is really complicated, no matter who you're playing. Uh, and then Tempest, and then Enlightened, and then Daughter. This is a bit of a less complicated uh, kind of build we're going for right now. We're just banking on the powerful draw synergy we have here. Normally, there's a lot more thought involved in, like, exact ratios of attacks to abilities and other such things. I think I just want the vulnerable here, you know? Vuln is such a big deal. 20 threat, you say? Uh, let's reflect some of that, huh? This is too vulnerable, which means it'll actually work for the Future Strike turn, and I would like to make him weak, even if it means that he's going to reflect less damage back, so... I will just do that. Hit him. Deliberate's not happening. This isn't worth it. Okay. Uh, hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, we already drew the Deliberate, so I guess just gaining momentum with the clarity is good. Let's do that. Get the big one, and then we can go like uh, this. That's all the block we needed. Still an enormous amount of damage next turn. While he's Vuln, we might as well take advantage of it. Extra damage. 
He's like a third of the way dead now. Probably gonna take at least a hit or two. Okay, so... If we draw an attack, which is pretty likely... Momentum into Lash and Kick seem into whatever we draw seems good for Zen. Now that we're in Zen, we can better future to set up next turn. So let's go ahead and get back the, the opener. Why not? And another attack for Zen entry purposes. Outpace gives us the block we need, and then we purge down. Looking good so far. And then here we just do a bunch of attacks. And that should do it. Cool. We actually killed the corpse mound without taking damage. Not bad. And I see a blood library coming up. That's an interesting one. Uh, another yellow stone. Still kind of want to hoard. Although, putting it into the fast forward actually seems pretty good. I'm just... I don't know, how greedy am I? Do I want to wait until the blood library? Yeah, you know what? I am greedy. We're gonna wait. Uh, we'll take a little bit of rage. We'll have some Echo Wall, I guess, why not? We'll go Zen just to draw a card, and purge down to full. Full energy next turn. Rather delay the damage if possible until we want to apply Vulnerable, until he has Fatigue. All that good stuff. Uh, that being said, I will take this opportunity to gain Rage and maybe get a big Deliberate off. I think we're just going to hold the outpace here. We'll go ahead and put the Volm on him now. It's a lot of damage. Weaken makes this a bit easier to deal with as well. Guaranteed full block. Decent amount of reflected damage as well. Here. 24, not bad. A lot of Echo Wall. And it's a bit of an awkward hand we've drawn here. That's for sure. Don't think we need this. So let's just go Clarity on an opposing force. We keep trying to Deliberate before we get a chance to Clarity it. Uh, the Outpace is already all the block we need. Do this. Might as well hit him with a bit of Future Strike. Vulnerable is going to fall off. Okay, uh, simple turn. And he should be dead next week, strike trigger. Takes my lash and kick, doesn't really matter. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Try to in here just for bead purposes. Cruising through this one so far. We got a Tonic of Tranquility. This is a really great one for the brew, or, uh... Yeah, for the brew effect. Getting the one free fatigue. Very, very strong in the late game. This is like a real contender versus the Void for something you want to brew up. So, pretty happy to see that. Uh, now it's Blood Library time. Hmm. Run Ragged is really good, and we do have a green stone. So I think I'll take that. Defensive attack is pretty strong. I'd have to cut... Uh, hmm. What would I cut? Maybe... Maybe just a repeating deflection. Meditation's going to be pretty hard to use because we won't be in Zen for very long. But getting three for the Blood Pact is kind of nice, of course. Not that we have much that takes advantage of it right now. So is this defensive attack even worth it? 
The run ragged definitely was. The defensive attack, though, I'm not so sure. Hmm. It's probably worth it. I'll take it. And then the final question. I don't want reach through time, really. I, smack is okay. Meditation's pretty bad. With this challenge coin. I think we just pass, honestly. Is it... <laughs> 9 max HP isn't that much, though. We healed a full at the end of each floor. I guess I'll take a smack. There we go. We get the, bud, the blood packed. <laughs> Robin says, I had a monk run the other day with Blackstone's circular logic. Pretty much lived on a defensive attack. Yeah, dude, if you have a, a circular logic going, you can just have one really good card, and that just carries you. Very often for me, that would end up being uh, Thousand Fists. That's a good one. Okay. Run Ragged with a green stone. Throw it in there over... A lashing kick, I guess. We'll cut the unupgraded gaining momentum for defensive attack, and we'll cut a lashing kick for smack. Uh, recharge, not so bad either, but it's a bit questionable. I'm probably going to do this path instead of going for the sin. I'd rather have an elite. Sins are not that great on Monk because they don't help you with your Zen entries at all. Yeah, I really don't know what to do with these things. I really don't. I guess I'll throw one on... <sighs> Fast forward or outpace? Outpace is definitely staying in the deck longer term. I'll do that. The purple I'm going to continue to be greedy with, right? Or should I just put it on this gaining momentum? I guess. It's pretty important that you have early power as Monk. Prayer box. <laughs> That's an interesting thing, I guess. Uh, yeah. I'd, <laughs> these are kind of all pretty stinky choices here. It has no downside, you're right! <laughs> it doesn't have a downside, it's true. Yeah, I mean, these, these are all pretty bad, really. I don't have any block cards that do, I mean, anything other than block besides the deliberate explicitly. So it's like, which flavor of double block trigger do you want? I mean, I guess the Aegis has got to be better, so take the Aegis and be very unhappy about it. Have a run, Ragged. Have a defensive attack so that I can block for next turn. Okay, so last time he confused me, so just giving him the smack actually seems totally okay here. So that's what I will do. Get smacked! And then... just clarity on the gaining momentum, I suppose. We're still gonna be confused, so the reduction cost is pretty important. I think I'll try to save the vulnerable for the next Future Strike trigger. So this time, we're probably actually going Zen, which is a little bit crazy. Opposing Force will be good here. And then we'll just go with Defensive Attack for Block. Uh, might as well do this now, since he's actually going to be attacking us for real next turn. It deals way more damage now. So we only need six Block. That's extremely likely. I think we're fine. He's really close to death as well. And it is a future strike turn. Oh, actually, he just dies to deliberate. Yeah, how about that? We're gonna not spend our bead charge here because we don't need it. 
Easy kill. Okay. Uh... So we got a Raven's Gift here. If one of these tiles is a shrine, I guess that'd be good. This guy gives a yin yang. That's pretty useless. I think I'd rather just have the card pack. If I go up, I lose the card pack. So. Okay, there was a shrine there. I still don't feel too bad about securing card pack. Card pack's strong. Purple stone. Yeah, also, uh, notably, when you play with a lot of Void Blast, you actually earn stones faster. Because more enemy health to chunk through means more void stone bar progress. So we kind of have a lot of void stones right now, especially since we aren't uh, starting without one, as we usually do on I-50. So I could chuck this on something. It'll probably be the opposing force, just because this is upgraded, and so I'm therefore inclined to leave it in the deck. I really don't know what else to do with this other than wait until we see the card pack. I guess I'll wait until we see the card pack. I can be a little bit greedy. And we'll just run you ragged. The defensive attack here... I mean, so this applies weak first, then Vuln, then we defensive attack. I think this is actually good to just do now. The Vuln goes on, the She goes on, he takes 38 damage, we have a bunch of delay block. That seems smart. Seems like a good play. Okay, and remember, uh, since she and Future Strike are technically not debuffs, they do go through immune. So, like, if I play Gaining Momentum here, it will still apply the Future Strike to him. As long as he's not immune when the Future Strike actually triggers, and he takes the damage, we're all good. So, I'm just gonna go for it here. He just goes in this way. This is all the block we need, sure. Let's put back defensive attack, and I don't know, maybe gaining momentum for some rage. It double triggers, so 18 next turn. We do need some actual block. Grab that, and then something to go Zen with. And then we can just purge down everything and play the clarity because it's going to save us a lot of energy. Put it on the most expensive card. The, feud only, the, the shield only blocks one hit of Future Strike, and Future Strike usually stacks a lot. That is correct, Robin. It is the first instance of damage, so... When you play a card like Gaining Momentum, where it's five Future Strike twice, that first hit for five is all that actually gets blocked. Uh, but for, for enemies that have immune for other reasons, it's more relevant. So, like, if we're fighting the uh, Star Council and those guys become immune, then it actually matters. But for this guy in particular, it's, yeah, it's really not that bad. You can just kind of punch through without much effort, so. Uh, what did he do last turn? He just attacked? Well, that's better than an energized attack, yeah? So, uh, let's... Uh, Robin says, are hits from Future Strike sorted by how much damage they do per hit? I feel like I usually see the flying numbers count down when they actually strike. You know what? I don't have a clue. <laughs> I have no actual idea. So, good question, I guess. <laughs> um, this is actually really annoying because I don't want him to block the huge amount of damage here, but I don't actually have anything that deals immediate damage or applies a debuff. So if I play the defensive attack, he is just going to block the 38. But it's good for uh, going zen, I guess, and it's good for block. So I am going to do it, but let it be known that I'm not happy about it. Anyway, uh, you'll get smacked into the future. We'll play this just a block, and we don't really need any of this stuff. I'm wondering if this means the shield blocks whatever individual hit would do the most, but who knows. Yeah, I, I don't have a clue. <laughs> I don't have a clue. One second. Okay, um... 
<laughs> Bentley says no energy drink and not fussing your dog on camera, even his dreamer. Yeah, I just uh, I just took him out to get groomed. That's why I was late today. Next time he comes in, I can show him on stream if people want to see. Dude, people love dogs on stream. Always a big hit. I guess we'll just deliberate here. This is all the block we need for the most part next turn. Yeah, I've got a little uh, Cocker Spaniel Poodle mix. He's wonderful. Okay, plenty of block. So, sure, I guess we'll do some of this. Might as well purge you, put them both back. There's the rest of the block, and now Zen. This one's foreseen, so we'll do it in this order. And that is it. Alright, now and then it's pretty good. What's in the booster pack? Anything else? Uh... Huh. Not really. This was kind of a big whiff. I, I really do not care about almost any of these, actually. Guess we roll the uncommon. Because we have a blood library relic. Time to man. That's... Fine? conflicts with uh, gaining momentum, so I don't know if we're even going to use it. Hmm. Do I want these two? <laughs> or do I want the reverb? My only echo wall right now is this opposing force. That's it. I could theoretically get more. I mean, reverb is a cool card. Unbalance is decent. The shrine is completely meaningless. It's literally just some money. Uh, I guess I'll take the reverb and the upgrade, I, I guess. Sure, yeah. Um, I mean, you know, I guess now and then is quite a bit less good when it's so hard to get the rebound off of it. We're probably not even going to play this thing, honestly. Damn, this deck sucks. <laughs> this deck is terrible. I think it's better to get the overcharge here. Let's do that. And the rage, I mean. Yeah, I mean, we are crushing everything with all this extra draw and stuff, but it's, it's kind of the same deal as last time. I'm not really satisfied with this deck's long-term potential right now. Like, at all. In fact, I'm rather dissatisfied with it. Yeah. Do we want to weaken him here? <sighs> no, we've got an Aegis charge. We should be fine. Okay. Um, Smack does nothing here. I guess we're just gonna block. This is 12 block. I mean, that's a ton. And then we get all we need, like this, which means we can deliberate him. 24, I mean, that's, that's pretty good, I guess. I don't know what the hell else I'm doing, <laughs> I really don't. Next time, of course, we have the defensive attack against the rest of the block we need. Which means we don't need this stuff. He's not attacking, of course, on the turn we actually have the Echo Wall. I think we're just gonna do, like, a better future play here. Get back this. And damage next turn is nothing, so I, I guess... Try and go Zen. Beads are ready to go. Okay. Put this stuff. 
Thanks again, my man. I'm right on time. Right on time, buddy. Uh, oh dear. Oh, this is actually bad. <laughs> this is actually really bad. Um, hmm. Hmm. That's concerning. Not much to be done about it. I guess we'll just go for maximum energy plus card draw here. And if we're really lucky, we'll draw into, like, uh, the outpace or something. I mean, defensive attack is pretty good. It's upgraded. So we want to get this back up to 9. Which is actually pretty tough to do, but I think we can get there. We got like this, this, this. That's a full block. And the spell comes off cooldown now. So we just blast him. And we win. Now the goal is just to enter Zen for B purposes. Throw out the block because I don't ever trust myself to actually win the fight, even though I'm overkilling by a huge amount. Cool. Run Ragged is like a an okay upgrade. Smack the Future is a pretty good one. Defensive attack always being upgraded is a big deal. That's probably the choice. Yeah, it's a defensive attack. Piglet fight. See what we got. Go ahead and they have high timers, so I... I don't know. 25 not quite being enough to kill is definitely annoying. I guess we'll hit you. Now it's up to 38, which is enough to kill, but I don't want to kill him while this... Oh, this uh, thingy is so high. This fuse. I think we're just gonna do this and hold. Oftentimes on this challenge coin, I don't think we really even care about going Zen. The energy savings are almost non existent. It really is just the uh, card draw that matters. Okay, adding exhaustions? I'd rather you not. See where the vulnerable goes. Okay, unfortunately we whiffed. We'll just go after you. Hit. 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 Nothing worth doing here. Ideally, we'll, uh... Actually, we just pass the deliberate. Hmm. This pick could become an issue on my radar. We'll think about it. Okay, we've drawn the Deliberate, so Deliberate here is, like, definitely the play. Don't need any of this block, so just get rid of it. Kill you, you kill this guy. Dump everything onto him. Big damage to Bertha. Big old clarity on the defensive attack. Eh, fight's gone pretty good so far. Good draw, RNG. Fatigue is stacking up. We want to get back the defensive attack off this uh, better future, I think. So let's go for a nice little boom chain here. Grab you back. And I guess we want this for the rage next turn. This will put us in Zen. Can even throw out another Deliberate. I think we're just putting everything on Bertha at this point. We do heal to full after this, of course, so I really don't care if I take a little bit of damage anyway. It just doesn't matter. So here we go. Get the rage, deal the damage. I guess we'll throw out a little bit more damage. And then we can just do... An easy block. He's about to explode. But we don't really care. The spell's even back next turn, so we'll just chill. They're gonna take reflected damage. This is an easy win. Yeah, this is just gotta be an easy win, right? Indeed it is. 
It is the easiest of wins. We do want to actually increment beads. So I will do that. Cool. Crushed through that fight. Quite a bit of overkill. 70 she beyond what we needed. Okay, the trusty snack is uh, not really very good. We only have the one purple stone here. So, pretty... Oh, wait, no, we have another one in reserve, actually. I guess that could be okay. Boost back with rare... Uh, I would like to have more echo wall to work with this reverb. That's pretty good. Upgrade points. We're doing okay in terms of upgrades. Better future helps out a lot with that. So it's a no to this. I'm leaning towards no on this. Take the booster pack. And I could try to draft a rare? I don't think that's really necessary, though. What did we get? Uh, are you kidding me? A second copy of Reverb. This is not what I want. I mean, I guess that means we're rolling it. Thousand Fists. Well, that's better. Needs an upgrade. It's better. Although, even then, this one's pretty bad with this challenge coin, because we're not going to be in Zen very often. Which not only means that even on upgrade, this thing will be hard to trigger multiple times, but the best way to apply slow is with the Zen condition of Lassen Kick. Which we're not going to be able to trigger very often either, so this just kind of sucks. What a crusty pack, dude. I guess Wound is at least kind of nice because it gives us some vulnerable, but man. This pack was balls! This black stone, like, might actually just go on the defensive attack if we're trying to use Foresight on it. So, that would mean... I don't know, dude. I don't know what to do with these stones. I can't plan ahead because I have uh, Fog of War. Another opposing force. It's more Echo Wall. I mean, really, I guess it's better than this, and it lets us do stuff. Very important that we do whatever we can to locate the Soul Collector here. But uh, I'm going to take a real quick break before we dive into the floor two here. So give me one minute, and I'll be right back, y'all, okay? All right, we're back. <laughs> Bentley quoted me, this pack is balls. That's right, dude. I said it. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, here's my dog, if you guys wanted to see him. 
since I'm not a real streamer unless I put my dog on stream. Just freshly back from the groomer. How you doing, buddy? Good boy. All right. Send him on his way. All right. That's right. He's super cute, isn't he? Definitely going up this way, I think. I'm kind of continuing to hold the stones. Bend Fate is coming up next. It already has a stone in it, though. I guess I'll keep holding them. Man. I can't believe we didn't add any of the cards from that pack. That was so terrible. This is... Oh, Jesus. Such a disappointment, such a disappointment. If I find some, like, really good source of slow, I guess I could be happy, but... Until then, I'm just... eternally frustrated. Get the Aegis charged up. Do I play this repeating deflection? Nah, no way. Yeah, we got plenty here. With this much card draw, we're almost guaranteed to be get the block we need. We can even do like a deliberate thing here. I think that's what we're actually going to plan for is big deliberate. So that means we get mage here. Let's try and get Vaughn on him as well. Nice! Good RNG. This is going to block for 13 if we trigger it. And it's going to be very easy to trigger it. Right? Or is it actually? Wait a minute. We play this. Yeah, no, no, wait. No, no, it's not easy. We can't do it at all, in fact. It simply can't be done. Although, one thing worth noting is that even though this is a block card whose block is conditional, since it has that tag, it does still double trigger off the Aegis, even if it's not actually generating us block. So that's kind of interesting here. This is like a crap ton of block. I guess I could do this. We'll put back like you. Next turn we're looking at 17, so we'll also put back you and then this will be all the block we need, plus this for the upgrade, and we just purge this guy. That seems good. Evagy's already halfway dead, so I'm not too worried. I do also kind of need to, like, lower my uh, scale that I personally have for the difficulty of the game. It is only I-30. I don't need to be as concerned as I usually do about uh, my power level. Okay. Um, so this is all the block we're really going to need, right? This also works if we're double-triggering it, but that's never going to happen. It also works if we just play it alongside a repeating deflection, which is much more likely. So let's waste this. Go ahead and draw. And then we just go... Defensive for the kill. That was, like, super overkill. <laughs> Definitely a suboptimal turn there, but I'm pretty sure we just... I guess I'll go after you, because you're gaining AP here. <laughs> kind of doesn't matter. He takes the reflected damage here, and now almost any big hit kills him. Although it's not a future side turn, so we gotta wait a bit unless we get defensive attack, which we did. So he's just dead instead. There goes all of our Aegis charges. Another upgrade point. I don't know, man. <laughs> kind of at a loss here. The deck is functioning adequately. My biggest concern is my ability to scale up into the future, and none of these upgrades really help with that at all. I guess Undermine for more uh, vulnerable is kind of good to put into the deck, and if I upgrade it, it'll be a better card in general, like the Lashing Kick replacement. 
I guess I'll just go for that. It's more vulnerable instead of just relying on the spell. Because I don't really want wound. Uh, blue chest next. That's an interesting one. Redstone on the uh, undermine is good too, though, because we want to get this for the overchar or the opener for the vulnerable, and you want to play your redstones first. So that seems like a good choice. Yeah, we'll just deal some damage here. We'll hold the defensive attack. It's a little bit greedy, but we'll go for it. What's up, buddy? Okay. Uh, rage here is pretty big. We'll do some of that. The block is all going to come from this better future. Which means we don't need this, or this, or this. Then we can go... 3, 1, play the other one, so don't need that either. Defensive attack kills you. Flash whoever we want. Oh, yeah, and the defensive attack actually gives us all the block we need. What am I even talking about, man? Nonetheless, I do want a better future just to get this back. Probably this too, all right. So the block is all but accounted for here. Defensive attack gets us the rest of the way. They waste their turn now have a decent chance of killing you. Hmm. Not the draw we wanted, believe it or not. I don't think we're gonna smack. So we'll go Zen, three plus one. This is free, but we don't even need it. It's purely optional. Let's see where the vulnerable goes, huh? It went on you. Interesting. So this is definitely overkill. I guess it doesn't really matter, though. Just killing one every turn means this fight's basically done, so... Because now you die, then you do 20, you're dealing none. We actually have a reasonable chance of just getting a kill on you as well. In fact, I think that's just what happens here. trigger on that. Yeah, okay. That's probably GG. So we'll set up the beads here. And there's the kill. Very simple run so far. I have not had to worry about much. I guess now we just want to increment Aegis as much as possible. Which means doing this. Okay, Bent Fate. Uh, so maybe we are kind of centralized around one card with the defensive attack. Chanted Water Bottle is not that great. It gives us one energy off the run, Ragged, and that's literally it. Do we even own any other Expel cards? We have Recharge. Replay. Oh, yeah, and Smack. I'm gonna reach through time. Eh, it's okay. Looking Glass, I hate. I hate this thing. <laughs> I hate uh, whatever the equivalent was called in Spire as well. The Frozen Eye, I think, right? It's just, oh man, like I already spent too long playing turns in this game and being able to see your deck in order. The number of plays you can make into the future just gets way too ridiculous. So for that reason alone, I'm taking the water bottle. Okay. Um, now, like we said, it's very important that we find the soul collector here. So if the soul collector is on this node, it's fine if I go to spell collector. If the soul collector is on this node, I don't think that's possible given the way map generation works. So I should just be able to go down this way. In all likelihood, he's somewhere around in, like, this circular area. My spell is fine. I wouldn't mind having a smaller cooldown on it, though. 
for the barbed wand. It's actually a tough call. It's actually a very tough call. Do I take this or do I just go down this way? I think I'm gonna go down. Okay, we got a potion seller instead. That's like, okay. No uh, tight pockets on, so everything's really cheap, so we could actually spend money here and feel reasonably okay about it. Are we fighting spiders, potentially? We are not. In which case, I don't think I actually care that much about this stuff. Rage is, like, decent. Kind of feel like we're just gonna pass. Truth be told, yeah. Sorry, Potion Seller. <laughs> Whoever it was earlier, I was talking about if the Potion Seller I was doing. I think that was Sonic. Take a, take a good long look at it now if you want. It's been around for a while. Love the little uh, portrait hanging in the back there with the stonesmith and the uh, forsaken pup. Great stuff. And all of these are like actual relics too. Like this is the blade oil. This is the orb of whatever the heck. I don't remember which one it is. Anyway. Moving on. We found another elite. That much is good. So far we found two out of two elites. And here's the third one. So there's just one more probably hiding somewhere around here. Looking for all of them, always. More relics is good. Do I want to undermine here? Not really. But I don't have, like, literally anything to do. I guess we can just go Zen off abilities. We already have all the block we need, so this is just to draw one third of a card at the cost of one energy. I think that's worth it here. I'm also realizing that I actually set the battlefield to this one instead of using it on random like I usually do. Whoops. I'll try to change that afterwards. Okay. 50% um, rage here. We're only gaining 25, but I think that's still good enough. Also, if we can double trigger the defensive attack using shield, that's going to be really, really good. So let's go for that. Let's also see where the vulnerable goes. This seems like a reasonable enough turn to use it. Good luck. Very good luck, actually. What did he do last turn? Taunt? That's super okay. That's <laughs> extremely okay. How about you do that again? And at this point, just a single trigger of the defensive attack is fine. And we'll get rid of the Haunted and get back our best cards for next turn. Since all the block is already accounted for. Excuse me. I feel like whenever I take my hand off the mouse, it's already hovering over the battle progress meter. Anyway, defensive attack kills you, right? No, it doesn't. We're off by one. Dang. That is annoying. We have to waste a ton of damage. Deliberate doesn't get us there. Aegis could, I guess. So I guess the the least amount of overkill we can do is this into Deliberate. This is so janky. But I think this is actually our best play. And then we just just kill you or basically kill you, at least. Like that? It's so awkward. Okay, we did get another bloated. Let's see what we can do about that. We have to block for one this turn? That's so annoying. Can't go Zen with attacks, but I do kind of want the opener here, so... I think we're just gonna do this anyway. That would kill you, put threat on the stack. Okay, we'll just take you out, I guess. Next turn is not a future strike turn. So I do kind of want to hold this out pace as a big block. He gets transferred, he barely doesn't die, which is exactly what we want. Spell's almost off cooldown, which would pick him off. So we're just gonna 
block. And drawing into lots of damage, so we'll just hit you, and I think we'll be okay. I think we should be just fine. This is a ton of damage, though. 50-50 <laughs> on where the Volm goes here. See what happens. Okay, we whiffed on the Volm, but I think it's fine, because Deliberate kills you. And that's really all there is to it. Could try to increment Aegis a little bit, I guess. I don't know, I don't really want to mess around with that right now. We'll just take you out. Okay, so heading through the middle here, probably going to be what we want to do. Just looking at as many nodes as possible to find the Soul Collector. Really hoping it's not like up here or something. Still reasonable odds that we just haven't come across it yet, so I'm not too worried. We don't have the Blackstone yet. What are we getting there? Cohesion's okay. I guess it's probably better than a repeating deflection. Maybe. I mean, the Zen thing is so irrelevant, though. Like, we're never in Zen, right? So I guess we'll just keep going. The Stew helps us out with our uh, Barbed Wand. Dead Man's Drop, we draw a lot of cards, so that's pretty okay, too. Pocket Pagoda... Meh. I think I'm just going to take the drop here. A lot of card draw between this, this, and this. Plus whatever additional draw we have, so we'll just go for it. Definitely throw out the run ragged here. Um, do I want to do a repeating deflection? I kind of feel like I do, yeah. I'll just hit him like that. Seven on this turn is easy enough. Better Future gets us back the repeating and is all the block we need. So we'll get some Rage. Deliberate's too expensive. We have not been playing that very much. It was a little bit bad. Get you back, and for the remaining block, I guess we'll take the uh, Fast Forward just for eight. It's pretty efficient. This for Vulnerable and Rage, and I guess this one just for the upgrade, it doesn't really matter. The next turn, of course, he is going to do the Pummel attack, so rewinding him is decent. Okay. Do need a lot of block here, that much is for sure. No point in weakening him if we don't rewind, because the 30 is unmodifiable. I don't think we're going to bother with the smack. I think it's just going to be like as much block as possible. We want to play all three of these, which is six. So we're at one, two, three, four, five. We can't play the fast forward in that case, right? Or we skip the undermine. Probably better to skip the undermine. Oh, wait, no, we weren't, we weren't talking about undermine. We were talking about these three. We do draw a card if we go Zen. The only way to go Zen would be to do, like, a repeating deflection in there. I guess we're going to go for that. Repeating, outpace, fast forward. And then we just hold the defensive attack. Don't feel super great about this. At least he's taking a lot of reflected damage. At least the vulnerable's guaranteed if we need it. Okay, we have more vulnerable then. Yeah, let's just do this vulnerable though and get card draw here, huh? So I'll purge off this one and do this. Okay, that's fine, I guess. We'll take a small hit, and we should be able to take him out next turn if we can just get uh, Deliberate. Outpace should be a lot of block if we don't get the Deliberate. Okay, we did. Yeah, so he's just dead to this, so I guess we'll 
It'll take up ages a little bit. And the beads. Okay, small hit. That's okay. I'll take it. No idea if we're going to be able to heal or not, because we don't have a healing potion, and the shrines could be God knows anywhere. Coming up to a lost and found. That's okay. I think there's some decent stuff in there, right? Here's the black stone. Uh, let's try it. In the defensive attack. I've done this before on stream, I know. It's a good strategy. Uh, I do wish I could have a bit more foresight, though. I don't know if bend fade is what I want. Honestly, I'm just going to do this at this point. Put in the recharge. Screw it. Do it like this. And we're going to do this because the foresight's important enough that we're not going to cut it at this point. So we'll put a purple stone in it. Maybe we rig it, too. And that's pretty good if we get the upgrade on it. Okay, uh, what do we start with? Gaining or undermine? Probably gaining. Do things the weird way this time. Very limited in our ability to deal with Banes. We draw our, through our deck a lot, but nothing in terms of draw and discard. Nothing at all. Not even a single blue stone. Okay, so the uh, defensive attack would be getting doubled here. No vulnerable on him. We can't get vulnerable off the Undermine, because if we recharge into it, it's not an opener anymore. I guess we'll try the spell. Nice. Always lucky. In which case, defensive. I guess we don't really need the recharge. Probably not the big one either. Defensive again. Go Zen. We already have enough block. So I just purge that. We have way more than enough block. Tell you what I'd really like to find is like a smoky sensor. That would be helpful. That'd be really helpful. We could come into an elite with a smoky sensor. Okay, here we have a very awkward hand. It's not a future strike turn. I don't really want you to buff the dudes again. I don't really want that at all. So I think I'm actually just going to go after you. We're going to go after you. That would kill you, which we don't really want, but it's fine to set it up as long as we think we can kill you next turn, and better future probably allows for that. So let's do that, actually. Man. Better future back for Undermine. We have to grab something else, I guess, in the outpace. We'll see what happens here. The beads are ready to go as well. Okay. By the way, have you guys been liking the uh, placement of the camera here? Just kind of floating in the middle? Hasn't covered up anything important? Hope so. Okay, so the defensive attack doesn't quite kill you, but we can get... Vulm. This is so awkward. So awkward. Really happy the way to use the potion there, but it works out. Seems good. Okay, cool. Next turn should just be the end of it. Unless we just draw like a million banes. Now we do three of them. Three out of the six. Alright, it just doesn't matter. Okay, redo, probably not gonna happen. Hey, the Soul Collector, that's huge. 
I guess I'll take this from the cards, because I already have one Chaotic Blur that I'm not using, and I don't really care about either of these, but it's free. Can't say no. And then here, the Pagoda is pretty decent, the Lotus is decent, and the Stew is decent. These guys both interact with the Zen State, which makes them really crappy. Honestly, actually, maybe the band needs more credit. Maybe the band needs to have credit because of defensive attack. Hmm. Dude, it's so freaking cheap. 700. Dang, that's so much better than, <laughs> than what I'm used to with the max tight pockets. I don't know. Band actually kind of sounds more and more appealing. Extra triggers on the defensive attack. That's actually enough to convince me. I'm just going to take it. We have an enormous amount of souls to spend here. Okay, Monkey's Paw. This is interesting. We just picked up one zero cost card. Uh, the, the, the redo. We also have two mind blasts, so this is like a very real option. At that point, we'd be drawing five base cards per turn. Up to seven from the drinking alcohol, up to eight from the bottle of whiskey, up to ten! <laughs> ten cards with Monkey's Paw. It's good with uh, Dead Man's Drop, right? <laughs> I think we gotta go for it. We gotta go for it. And we'll take the on sale on common, right? Because uh, Smelling Salts is really not all that amazing. Even though we have a reverb, it's unreliable. Don't have a green stone for it. So, yeah, random uncommon. Jumper cables. Uh, makes me wish I had the trusty snack, but that's fine. Potentially buy more relics here. Another rare, huh? Oh, it's a Zen-focused one. Basically garbage. <laughs> Another Zen-focused card here, also garbage. The bigger beads are pretty cool, at least. Notably, you do actually kind of trigger the beads more often since you exit Zen quickly. And, you know, drawing cards is good. Because we, we're not doing enough of that, if you didn't notice. We're not drawing enough cards. Enemy spawning with Vulnerable 2 is like, okay, it's fine. I mean, I can buy both, of course. Regal Monocle would make them spawn with 4, which is pretty funny. There's no adaptation, so that's kind of good. I think I'm just going to take the beads and the mace. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, last place to spend money, and I don't think we're going to be buying anything because we can't afford it. Timely Maneuver is probably technically still better than uh, Repeating Deflection. I want to spend my cash on that. No idea what else I'd be spending cash on, so sure. There we go. All of our money is spent. And we found the last Elite, too. All of the Elites. That's pretty good. It's very good, in fact. Nice little power injection we got there. This is the base size of my hand now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Actually, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, what? Oh, that's right, the drinking alcohol. I, <laughs> I forgot. Drinking alcohol doesn't kick in until turn two now. We, we nerfed it. That's right, that's right. Uh, Bentley asking if we have ways to thin the deck. We do have a few. We have this which expels. We have uh, this which expels. I definitely forgot to put in my zero costs here. Oops. A couple other expel cards that might come in. Just try and draw the defensive attack as much as possible. That would be the name of the game. I think we're going to go after the assassin here. Seems reasonable. Okay, defensive. I was pretty happy to see that. 114 damage. 57. I guess we can go run ragged here, although drawing two cards right now is kind of insane, because then we can just purge, purge, and play the run ragged anyway. The bigger beads coming in there. 45 delay block, not bad. Okay, so this is the super card draw hand. Look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cards. 10! 10. 10 cards! That's half of our deck. The Dead Man's drop is going to pop the hell off. Simply incredible. 
purge all the useless block cards here. What do you think I am? You think I need to block? What do you take me for? I have not played this deliberate like at all. This was such a waste of an upgrade point. Uh, he's already vulnerable, so I guess it doesn't really matter to use the spell, so we can save it. Taunting is fine. I could not care less about the fact that you were taunting. Foresight here doesn't really have a great target, so... It's still better to play it, because it saves one energy. Although, actually, uh, now that we have four overcharge to start from the jumper cables, it's not actually worth it. We will just purge it. Useless stuff. Make you vulnerable, why not? You're gonna die to that now. Getting blocked shouldn't be that bad. The beads are ready and we're drawing two. So we'll just chuck out uh, this guy, I guess. We're just going to do a bunch of defensive attacking. I could smack you. We have uh, an elite fight coming up, so I guess I'd rather preserve the beads. So I will. Yeah, this is insane. This was always the dream combo of relics, was this plus this plus this. Previously, I'd only ever had these two in an actual run. That wasn't a challenge coin. Uh, get rid of that. We don't want to trigger Zen, so. Get him out of here. Upgrade point. Uh, I have no idea what to use it on. Do we care about anything in particular more now that we have the monkey's paw. I mean, if there's anything that upgraded to become zero cost, I would care, but I don't have such a card. Given how much we're drawing now, I guess the Bring the Thunder is a good card to put in the deck. Not to upgrade, but just to have the Purge draw and discard one. Uh, yeah, what the heck did we upgrade, man? I guess Clarity is an okay upgrade? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll do Clarity. It's a good one. And then we'll actually remember this time. We want to put in some zero costs. So let's cut probably a lashing kick for this redo. And then maybe recharge for... Uh, where are they? The, the Mind Blast. There we go. Put in a Mind Blast. So that's two zero costs. Normally three is the number I like to have. Although at the rate we're drawing, we should, <laughs> we should be reasonably okay with just two. We can get the Bring the Thunder in there as well. Um, sure, I'll cut one more repeating for Bring the Thunder. Are we just going to leave it at this? Let's try this. See what this elite does. It's the Hag. How many heavy cards do we actually have? Um, we have... Defensive attack. Deliberate opposing force. I mean, we are purging the deliberate a lot, so getting overcharge off the lightning bolt keychain is okay, but we already have a bunch with the jumper cables, so probably not. Making stuff cheap has got to be better. Yeah. Crystal Lake Hand Me Down will sometimes let us play the uh, double defensive attack more easily. And that seems pretty good. We throw the free thing into the hex. We run ragged, we clarity on something big. We discard the garbage, we go zen. We can defensive attack her twice because it covers itself in terms of block. 35 delay block, crystal lake and we down, ready to go. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. The zero cost. This is not a heavy card, so it doesn't waste the Crystal Lake hand me down. So we can do that. This isn't getting double triggered. 
Uh, I don't think we can really get it there, can we? Probably not. So we'll just play it once. Since it's free and all. I guess we might as well rewind her, right? It's pretty easy to get all the block we need and put back the good stuff. I guess we can just guarantee we have a zero cost next turn. And then we'll also go for gaining momentum and I guess maybe bring up under just for the purge effect. Reapply vulnerable with the spell. I'm feeling in a pretty good spot at this point. Run was sketchy for a little while, but it's looking good now. So here we can just purge this to pitch a bane, get rid of the hex, get a nice opener. And we're getting double triggers off Aegis now, so... Go ahead and put Vault on her. 114 damage. Do it again. Excellent. Looking good. Free shrine here. Uh, I, I could heal, but I'm almost certain I won't die, so I guess I'll just take the money. Last upgrade before we fight the boss. No real changes to make. The deck is humming along. Mind Blast. We'll just go Clarity on the defensive attack. Run Ragged. I'll actually play the Redo here. It puts me in Zen. This is already free from the hand-me-down, so I'd rather spend the Zen play on this Clarity. Make uh, this free. And then we come back. I guess I'll take a little bit of Rage. And then we'll deliver it. Seems good. We can even go Zen again here. Just for the heck of it. And you know what? We're gonna go ahead and weaken everybody while we're at it. And then just purge everything down. I think this is gonna be a very quick fight. We also got the vulnerable on the pyre itself, so that's a uh, pretty good RNG. Uh, hmm. Let's see if we randomly draw a zero coster. We did not. That's fine. Don't need the uh, opposing force. Already have all the black we need, so I guess goodbye fast forward. We'll get our opener on you. Play you for free. This makes the double trigger go off, and the next heavy card is free again. Smack sets up the kill on you. Then we can just retrieve the good stuff. Plus this, and uh, this, I guess, why not? Clarity for the game of momentum. This will draw us two cards. And we can hold this game of momentum to play next turn. Yeah, suddenly we're just doing absolutely ridiculous stuff. We have so many artifacts. Obviously, you start with uh, three extra beyond normal on the challenge coin, but still, this is a ton. This is a ton. We're not even done yet. We could get more, and then the blessings are going to be up there, too. So that's pretty wild. Feeling like two zero costs has actually been working out very nicely so far, I gotta say. I gotta say. Deliberate's ready to double dip, so we'll do that on you, I guess, right? Actually, why not just get some more rage first, huh? I can just pay full price for this thing. Why not? Yeah, suddenly we're insane. You know what, we can actually play our Bring the Thunder, huh? Why not? 225% range. Exciting. We'll just tick up our Aegis here. There we go, tick up the uh, band. Feeling pretty good about this one. Final upgrade point. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. Smack, I guess? Outpace? Smack, why not? Save some energy. 
boss is probably going to get crushed. Uh, I should have a potion in the belt just because, although I, I doubt we're going to need to use one. Okay. Always going for the defensive attack here. Always just doing run ragged. I guess we can see what this draws us. Nothing useful. <laughs> Nothing useful at all. Nothing that I really want to put back with better future, so I guess we'll just take whatever delay block we can. Draw two cards here. Echo wall seems fine. Do I go after her? Let's let's weaken everyone actually. You know what? Let's weaken everybody. That seems smart. I think we're mostly just going to hit her with defensive attacks, so we'll actually spread the damage out a bit here. Uh, we're going to hold the better future. That's the plan. So we block seven already. This is another eight. Throw that away. How we kill you is a bit of a question. It would... We, we want to just have, like, a little bit of incidentals. She, I guess. Because hmm. this is not quite enough for you, even with the rage. Okay, we'll hit you with this to get rage. Deliberate is enough to kill you at this point. So let's hit you. Now the Deliberate is free. We double the Deliberate. You die. We can hit you for 114. We can make her attack again if we wanted to. I kind of don't want to. Yeah, that's... We're, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're just going to better future to put back the two good cards here. And then we're going to clarity to make the defensive attack free and pass on them. That should be plenty. That should be plenty. This turn's not Future Strike, but we're not being attacked, so that means that we don't need to worry about blocking until the next time the Future Strike would actually trigger. Which means we can just go all in, do as much damage as possible. So we'll just gain Rage here. I guess technically it's a good idea to play this first, because we don't want to waste the free energy from Zen. But this is just silly, right? <laughs> this is just nonsense. GG. Easy kill there. On to the final floor. Uh, first time you trigger a stone, you get twice the effect. Do I care about that? I mean, like, double clarity would be cool if I didn't have the jumper cables. Makes it kind of irrelevant. Doesn't double black stones. Double red is like, alright. Double yellow is okay. Mm, it's fine. But I don't really think I need more cards. And, I mean, upgrade-wise, do it so I guess I'll take it. Besides, I want my relic bar to be longer. And then for here, a green and a black? What do I even do with another black? Where does the other black stone go? Everything I have is like already just fine. <laughs> I have no idea what I would do with the black stone. Real talk, the biggest consideration would probably be overriding the purple stone in the clarity. To put a black stone in that. Actually sounds pretty good. Yeah, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. And the green stone? I don't even know if we're gonna use it. I guess I don't mind putting a green stone on, like, redo for monkey paw purposes. and Just letting that be. Goodbye, purple stone. Green redo... This is such a weird setup we've got here. Take some damage there. We only have to fight two Vault Guardians for once, so that's cool. Uh, bonuses for killing Void Touch. Stealth and full energy has got to be great. That's That's got to be one of the picks, I think. Rage, Void Touch with damage. I actually kind of like this, too. They're going to start with damage. They're going to start with vulnerable. We could be able to bust them down really fast. So I guess we'll go after the Death Knight first here. We have very few potions, so these are both going to be try... We're, we're going to try to hold both of these for the Void. 
probably brew the iron skin belt the crippling in terms of spells I don't feel the need to change anything everything's full of cooldown or more because now every turn one we can get rid of the redo for free play the run ragged and then clarity to hit both the defensive attack and the um, well normally the gaining momentum but we drew it this time so instead we'll hit opposing force and now we're in zen the bigger beads drew us to how about some rage no rage off of this is a bit sad do I just hold the gaining momentum and the defensive attack? Is that completely insane? Playing this twice does double trigger his ability, which kind of sucks. But do I care? I kind of feel like I don't. So I'm just going to hit you a bunch. I will save the smack, though. Save that for later. Already full blocking, so I don't need to use the spell. So much delay block here. Goodbye, Mind Blast. This hand is kind of terrible. I guess we could do a big Bring the Thunder. That seems okay. Also, we can instead put stuff back on top with Better Future and then draw one of them with Bring the Thunder Purge effect. But I don't know how good that is. We have no rage without the Bring the Thunder. We don't really have a good means of building rage. I think I'm just going to go for big rage, honestly, right? I think that's what I'm going to do. So I play this for three. We go, like, purge, purge. I can play, I can play it for four. Yeah. So there we go. 200% rage. Purge down. We're going to weaken him. And then it's just, like, opposing force, slash and kick, slash and kick, and we're in the zone. And we don't need to play this. 225 damage without even using any of our actual good cards. Aegis is ready. Double draw off the beads is ready. Echo wall too, why not, you know? Okay, this hand kind of sucks. Uh, that's not useful. Hmm. I mean, we can block, I guess, for what it's worth. Go ahead and get the Foresight down and draw our two cards off the beads here. Uh, I guess I'll redo. Sure, I'll actually play it. Fight's not going to last that much longer, so I don't mind expelling one of my zero costs here. He's already very close to dead, of course. I um, guess we'll do this for the block. Then we can actually smack him this time. That's a lot of damage. Sure. Play for free with Zen. And this is a future strike turn, so we only need to deal a smidgen more, and we have the defensive attack. So we can throw away this, and it's just like dead. Right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's dead. So long, Death Knight. Uh, Aegis stacking is the name of the game now. But we don't actually want to play the Deliberate. I guess I could have gotten one more charge on the Aegis with optimal play there. <laughs> Misplay alert. All right, easy fight. Um, now we want to fight this guy, right? It's a little bit sad that the vulnerable from our spell is unreliable versus him. I think we'll be okay anyway, though. Roll on in. It's pretty much the ideal turn one. We didn't draw any of the stuff we wanted to foresight. We go Zen, we draw two. The Aegis is ready if we wanted to double deliberate. So that's fun. I guess we'll go ahead and just weaken them right away, actually. Um, double delay block actually sounds kind of good too here. So I'm just going to do that. Get a bunch of delay block up. Smack a wall? Why not? Probably going to have to waste the hand-me-down on this turn, but I guess that's okay. Probably not the end of the world to do so. Yeah, 
we did not we don't have any other heavy attacks this one's foreseen so it's already free a little bit sad there but uh i can handle it No means of drawing mid-turn here, but we still want a better future for the good stuff, just to use it next turn. Smack is a lot of damage here, so I'll play it just for that reason alone. This is desync, so I can't actually go Zen off of it, but I can foresee both of these guys for next turn. I think we're gonna be okay. Hundred and ten, he's still gonna be vulnerable. Not so bad. Almost all the block is already there. Oh yeah, he's gotta be screwed here, right? There goes the hex, the opener. Smack you around a little bit. The band is ready to go, the beads are ready to go. I've got a blue stone. I have no idea where to put the blue stone. <laughs> um, what are we actually playing a lot of the time, huh? Any of these cards in particular? Not really. I can just hang out on this opposing force and do something. Uh, brew up the iron skin, belt the crippling for vulnerable on demand in case the spell's on cooldown. Speaking of spells, I think we just leave the leverage as our spell? Probably. The weaken's pretty good. Retaliate is not very strong against the void. Yeah, let's roll in. So we got stealth here, and the first turn is going to be really good because of all the rigged stuff we have. Bop, bop, bop. We didn't draw the uh, gaining momentum, so that's ideal. There's the two. Gaining now is not really ideal. I guess we play it anyway. Do I bring the thunder here? Uh, doesn't feel that bad, honestly, but I should probably purge it instead. Liberate. Okay, sure. No rage on this turn, so it's... It's okay. No need for the better future. I think we will just go ahead and deliberate her. Posing forest as well, probably not. So stock up a bit of energy. So on this turn, we'll just open with Undermine instead. How much is this dealing to you right now? 38. Okay. Yeah, so we'll Undermine you. We need just a little bit more there. The Lashing Kick does it. Uh, while we're in Zen here, we want to play something that isn't going to be free already. This is currently free from the hand-me-downs. So we'll do this instead. And then it's hit. Smack just for big damage here, I think, is the correct play. In fact, I'm going to use the spell, even. And do this. The She Cascade, I'm fairly certain, kills you at this point. Let me just purge down everything. Oh yeah, you're super dead to the She here. Cool, no garbage cards. I'm glad we picked those blessings we did. We've almost got two full rows of relics. Not so. Okay, there's our zero cost. Seems like a good time to just go for the big gaining. This deliberate will get doubled. There's this red stone on it. So that's free rage. Uh, yeah, I think we just purge this thing. We're just trying to draw a defensive attack. Didn't get it, that's fine. We do it like this. 102 off of this. Go ahead and get some foresight going. Do this just to draw two. We actually drew the defensive attack. Sick. We're gonna hold the defensive attack. And I could hold Mind Blast. This is a zero cost, but that's not necessary. If nothing else, we can throw the foreseen outcase away as a zero cost. Okay. 
Oh, wait, no, we were always going to draw the redo. It's rigged. Of course. This seems like it might just be a big bring the thunder, actually, huh? We've got interesting choices here. Let's go clarity. And this. And then we'll purge two to bring the thunder to go zen. Into 126 damage there. Purge. Do it again. Purge. Get it back. Um, bring the thunder, I guess. Why not? The fatigue is stacking up, so the future strike is going to start to get more and more powerful. We have this vulnerable uh, from the potion whenever we need it. Get rid of that. Okay, good stuff this time. Here. The deliberate is going to be a big deal. So let's do that. We'll just purge the Bring the Thunder this time. Is this a good time for Vulnerable? I think so, because the spell comes off next turn. So we'll do that now. 86 there. This one's free, and it triggers twice. This deals 105. I could have gone Zen there, but without much energy, I don't really want to. We'll save the two-card draw probably for this turn. Okay, throw that out. I'll take the opener here for sure. I don't even need to use the spell now. I can save that for next turn if I want. Pitch this garbage. This sets up the hand me down. So it's free now. Deliberate for 45. It seems pretty good. I think I'll do that. And at this point, we want a better future for future strike cards. So I'll take back Undermine and Opposing Force instead of, uh, what's it called? And, yeah, we'll just pass turn on that. Next turn we apply all the Future Strike, and then on turn 8 we use the spell to make him vulnerable, and that should be a win. Here we just go this into this, into uh, this, into this, and he's just dead already. GG! Not bad. An hour 39 and 50 something seconds. Yeah, that's pretty quick by uh, our standards. That was crazy. After we hit the Soul Collector and the, uh, uh, the Disheveled Salesman, too, and even the lost and found. Yeah, so many relics. So many relics. Most I've had in quite a minute. Great stuff. Great stuff. I finally had a run, even though it's kind of cheating because of the challenge coin, but we had drinking alcohol and bottle of whiskey and the monkey's paw. The bigger beads were really cool here too for even more draw. Very fun run. Look at all those perfects. One non-perfect fight in the whole run, and it was the Beast of Malice. Good stuff. Great run. All right. That's going to do it for me today. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and run some ads here at the end of the stream. Feel free to leave your browser open if you'd like to support the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.